like time, time travel into the past. Every place we got got older and older and older and the oldest was Afghanistan, funny enough. There we saw our first camel trains come out of the desert. Uh, with the smell of the, and the uh, camels are really unpleasant. They, they, they are grumpy animals. <laughs> they really are. And uh, uh, it asked me, we were looking at everything a little bit like kids, we just open eyes. Anyway, after having come back from, it took, it took us one and a half years to get there and come back. Right? <laughs> after, after, after that, it was like, I got out of the music business because there was more to life than just chasing the, the electric banana, the microphone, and the windscreen wipers uh, on the autobahn. So, so I, was, I, I wanted to see the world. So when we got back from India, um, we decided, okay, we've seen the older country, now we're going to, okay, we have to, in all fairness, we've got to see brave new world, America. And so we we said, okay, we started because I have musician friends up in Minneapolis. We started in Minneapolis and we were on our way to South America. What really interested us, Machu Picchu, the Mayas, the Incas, the, the, the Aztecs, or all those kind of the old countries is what, what drew us. But first we had to get to America, not thinking it was going to be <laughs> anything that a transient, let's go through this. But because we were seeing kind of the windscreen wipers having driven to India and back, we decided, no, we're going to do this differently. We rode down the Mississippi in a rowing boat. And. That is just awesome. We fell in love with the American people. We were not, we were completely uh, uh, we were not expecting at all to find such a delightfully open, group of people. The Americans were, were not jaded like us Europeans. I've been again having long talks with Dennis about it. Uh, Germany specifically is very uh, very blinkered. Right. No, no, oh, no, no, <laughs> no, no, here. And the American the, the when we drove the road down the Mississippi, the response we got from just the, the normal everyday people who live on the river and who at one time in their life, guaranteed thought, oh, have a great feeling. Oh yeah, let's go all the way to New Orleans. Right? But never do. And along come came us two, my wife and I, and uh, we were doing almost as, it felt like we were all almost doing it for them, in their stead. And they projected all their longing and their uh, uh, delight in the adventure into us and took us into their homes and that's where we actually fell in love with the American people, not the system. The system sucked then and it sucks more now. <laughs> yeah, it really does. It's awful. <laughs> Sorry. But no one is saying something. But the people, the people of America uh, welcomed us and, and were such a generosity of spirit that, it, that we got lost in America for, for for 12 years. We got down to New Orleans and it was, and, and of course, New Orleans back in the 80s was, was, was wow. Uh, it still is in the French Quarter. They're like that. Still, that magic is still there. Well, we got pregnant. We still did not want an American child. <laughs> but we love the people already. But we love me. No, no, no. We didn't want an American so we tried to get the old guy that is the last to get it. It's a long story, but we tried to get over uh, the Gulf of Mexico with a self built sailing boat. We built it in 17th Street in our and in our in our in the maiden voyage to make sure the check down voyage to make sure everything happened, we ran into a hell of a storm. Ingrid, my wife, eight months pregnant, uh, uh, saving our asses on an oil rig of all things in the middle of a partial train. Uh, there was in, in the year 1980, there was an oil rig out there, and we saved our asses on that with, with, with light rockets, light flares that I'd rescued from the dumpster and the marinas uh, down up by Bucktown. <laughs> and, uh, um, and my wife said, okay, that's it. That's it. We're not. Saving across the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> 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 
probably be quite likely. I was sent to the enough to the room <laughs> and say, okay. So she found us a midwife. I mean, we were already working together with midwives, with midwife in the co in Louisiana. And uh, Ingrid found us a little hut in the forest, right, uh, right beside the Fort Hunter State Park, uh, which is, it was a mile inside the forest. There's no road. It was that we went in by bicycles. We had no electricity. We had no running water. I dug some latrines out in, in, the, in the back. And um, we lived there. It was known as a snake house. Well, the, the, the snake lady used to live there. And I learned to speak with snakes. They had clients where I did. And to talk to the trees. <laughs> but anyway, we lived there. My baby was born, and I was the only man there. Believe you me, if you ever have kids, if you ever have kids, you make the guy who made the kids, you make him come and be there at the birth. Okay? Promise? Because <laughs> <laughs> that is something that no guy should ever not see. I mean, I was petrified. <laughs> I, I really was. I was, I was. I was holding on to the goddess, helping her breathe. You know? Uh, and, and all the, 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 the midwives, our, our midwife, the Anne, was actually the head on show midwife of the area. She was she was um, teaching other midwives, so there were seven of them. Seven, no, no, of course. And then, <laughs> and after the baby was born, and I had to cut the umbilical cord with a with a with a with, 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 with a pair of scissors. I didn't have to. I was just made this. Oh God, this is there it is. It's alive. What the hell do I do now? Get your finger in here. Out of the room with candlelight, full candlelight, quiet music, and long haired witches sitting cross legged around a bowl of blood, muttering in the corner of the room. And it was wow. I was an experience. I should not be missed by any man who fathers a child. It's imperative that we find that. Well, um, wow, what was that? Car wash. It's the car wash. It's the car wash. <laughs> One, one afternoon I was sitting late 